Hello, Berryville. Welcome back to your number one spot for everything Berryville High. I'm your host, Aiden Burnett. And I'm Jacob Ellis. Surprisingly, our football team took a win at West Fork, 16 to 13. And our volleyball girls won at Gentry, uh, 3 to 1. Oh, and uh, our volleyball girls also uh, lost a home game, sadly. And our football team took an unfortunate loss at Greenwood, as well. On September 15th, we have a football game at Magazine at 7 o'clock. And for volleyball, we have a game on September 11th at Casper at 5 o'clock. Also for volleyball, on the 12th, we have a game at Pea Ridge at 4 o'clock. On September 14th, a game at Prairie Grove, 4 o'clock. And we have a cross-country meet at uh, 9 a.m. in Salem Springs uh, on the 16th. Today is the day of great remembrance, September 11th. So we decided to ask some of our great teachers where they were on the day of September 11th, 2001, when the towers were struck. Here are the five who responded. I was sitting in Mrs. Martin's fourth grade class. When I went home, my parents were crying watching the news, and I didn't understand why they weren't excited about my birthday the next day. I was too young to really understand the gravity of the situation. I was working at Dinosburg State Community College, and I watched coverage of the news all day long in disbelief and fear like everyone else in the U.S., Miss Lewis. I was in seventh grade world history class when we found out 9-11 was happening. My teacher came in and turned on the news. We spent the rest of the class period and then the entire day watching the newscast of what was happening. Only being a seventh grader, I didn't understand the impact and relevance of the situation at the time. But in hindsight, it was a very surreal experience. Mr. Hood. I was in seventh grade health when the lunch lady came in and saying, the World Trade Center has been attacked. So turn on the TV. When they turned on the TV, I didn't really know what was happening and didn't care. When I saw the second plane crash into the second building, my reaction was, whoa, that plane is getting really close. Oh, Mr. Torx. On the day of September 11th, I was a housewife and a mother homeschooling three of my four young children. My youngest was two years old and watching cartoons while I was at the dining table with the other three working on schoolwork. The cartoons were interrupted due to a news alert. Too many people suffered great loss that day. Ms. Harrison. For breakfast on Monday, we'll be having a biscuit with sausage gravy, scrambled eggs, fruit juice, and milk. And on Tuesday, we have a tornado with uh, nacho crackers and fruit. On Wednesday, a cherry frutal with gogur. Uh, Thursday, we have a pancake on a stick. Friday, we have a ham and cheese English muffin and star tops. On Monday, in the bobcat line, we have orange chicken. And on in the razorback line, we have pizza. On Tuesday, we'll be having chicken fajitas. Or in the razorback line, a walking taco. On Wednesday, we have hot dogs or chicken strips. On uh, Thursday, we'll be having a pulled pork sandwich. Or in the razorback line, a cheeseburger. And on Friday, we will have a chicken sandwich or a calzone. The cast for the theater production, The Plot Like Gravy Thickens, has been announced. Oliver Beam is will be playing three roles, Edward Worthington, Walter, and Lieutenant McMillan. Faith McKenney will be playing Allegra Worthington, Edward's wife. Uh, Erica Hernandez will be playing Justine Worthington, Edward's first wife. A.C. Cavilio will be playing Tony Blackwell, the brother. Kelly Diaz will be playing Deborah Worthington, the daughter. Uh, Jerrica Phillips will be playing Beatrice Worthington, Edward's sister. Andrew Grisoner will be playing Roy Phillips, the accountant. Alina Pittman plays Connie Phillips, Roy's wife. Sadie Sharp will be playing Peggy Sue Brumley, the secretary. Reese Williams will be playing Lawrence Tate, Edward's attorney. Jacob Ellis will be playing Hollister, the butler. That's me. Kennedy Spring will be playing Miss Vickers, the house manager. Aubrey Lee will be Edith, the maid. Tuesday Winter will be Ina, the cook. And Carson Casey, Molly Stats, Austin Hattenhauer, and Rebecca McMillan will be playing interrogators, audience plants. And that's, and that's the, the bell. bell. We'll, we'll see, see you next time on Bobcat, Bobcat News. News.